Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, on my way to Dubai, King of the Table 10, we're sitting in the wonderful, congested, shit show, fucking Frankfurt Airport in Germany. I figured I'd give you guys a quick little prediction on my King of the Table 10. Uh, we'll start off with, I got the list here so I don't forget any of them. We got uh, Reno Masters versus Bacho Sintabelli. Butchered that fucking name. I butcher it every fucking time. Uh, this one is going to be one to watch for sure. We got Bacho, the new young up and comer from fucking, from Georgia. Uh, everybody knows him as Levon's little cousin. I think in a couple more years we're going to we're gonna know Levon as Bacho's older cousin. Uh, I'm really not sure how this one's gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna say Reno's gonna take this one 4-2 Bacho. I haven't really seen him have any really tough, tough matches against some top, top, top competitors. Uh, so not really sure, but uh, Reno, he's bigger dude, stronger dude. I think he's a lot more versatile. We'll see how it goes. Bacho has that massive hand, but he is a smaller guy. So I'm gonna say Rio is gonna take this one 4-2 over Bacho. Stop for a second. Next match, we got Otto Lorette versus the Whisperer, the Arm Wrestling Whisperer. Ah, uh, honestly, I'm thinking huge, huge mismatch. Uh, my fucking, my older brother's fucking boy, Auden. You're gonna fucking destroy him. I'm gonna say 6-0 for Auden over the Whisperer. If the Whisperer does get one, it's because Auden feels bad for him and he's gonna let him get one. But as far as I'm concerned, Auden is gonna walk way through him. Bigger kid, bigger hand, stronger. The kid's been born and bred into arm wrestling. He's been doing it since he was a little baby. Uh, definitely Auden's gonna take this one, 6-0. Uh, next one, very interesting match. We got Tobias Sparrow versus Wagner Bottolotto. Wagner, you're a fucking lunatic. Uh, seen you ended up tearing your fucking peck you're right into the fucking gym two days later dude you ain't fucking human uh, Tobias Sporong big big dude very very versatile still very very young up and comer I'm gonna say Tobias Sporong may actually take this one on Wagner I'm gonna say Wagner's gonna come in one or two rounds really quick getting him inside after that Wagner is gonna taper down really quick Tobias Sporong is gonna completely fucking just dominate him after that I'm gonna say Tobias Sporong, 4 2. Um, next match, we got Lachlan Adair versus David Arubuli. I don't really know a whole lot about David, I just know he's a bad motherfucker. Lachlan Adair, we've seen a lot of him going around lately. Every time you see him, he's getting bigger, he's getting stronger, he's getting meaner, he's getting faster, he's getting better. Uh, this one could be interesting. This could actually end up taking match of the fucking night. Hard to say how she's gonna go. But I gotta go with my boy fucking Lachlan on this one. Lachlan's gonna end up taking him 5-1 in this round. Uh, let's hope so anyway. So next match we got Coach Ray versus Robbie Karsten Dyke. Uh, Coach Ray, I fucking love you, buddy. But uh, I gotta go with my boy Robbie on this one. Robbie, newer up and comer. Uh, strong, strong, strong as fuck. Uh, Raymond, you've got way more versatility. Uh, you've got the table IQ, but Robbie's gonna have me in his motherfucking corner. So I'm gonna say Robbie is gonna take this one. It's gonna be a fucking close one. But I'm gonna say Robbie's gonna sneak this one off for two. He's just gonna have too much inside power for you, Ray. Unfortunately, sorry, Ray, I love you, but that's how it's gonna go. Uh, next match, we've got myself versus Derek Smith. You're gonna wanna watch this one. I don't wanna give out any spoilers, but it's just gonna be a fucking bloodbath. Make sure you turn in by the pay-per-view. You're going to want to watch this one. Next one, match. Final match of the night. We've already seen this one about eight, nine months ago. Honestly, it has the potential to be a fucking another bloodbath. Uh, we got Vitaly Lalatin versus Dave Chafee. I'm not really sure where Dave Chafee is right now. Uh, Dave has been having some issues with his neck. If Dave comes in without his neck bothering him, I'm going to say Dave could end up taking this one again. Uh, it's hard to say Vitaly now has actually been taking a lot more time off of work. He's concentrating a lot more on arm wrestling. Vitaly is going to be leveling up, I believe, over the next couple of years, especially he's able to concentrate a lot more on arm wrestling, not his work. But I, I really don't know how this one's going to go. Uh, if Dave's neck is not 100%, which I fear it may be, uh, I'm going to say... 
Vitaly couldn't have taken this one, but I'm expecting a bit of a war. I'm expecting Vitaly to take Dave's hand, but I'm expecting Dave to get him behind his shoulder and press him a couple rounds throughout. I do believe Vitaly may have a little too much for him this time, though, especially with being able to concentrate a lot more on arm wrestling and not so much on work. So I'm going to say Vitaly's going to end up taking this one 4 2. Those are my predictions. Uh, you want to tune in, definitely fucking get the app. Core Sports, buy the motherfucking pay per view. February. This weekend, you're gonna fucking wanna, not gonna wanna fucking miss this one. She's gonna be all fucking crazy.